boys and girls, I have another book to read. This is Mrs. Gagnon. Um, this book is called The Ox Cart Man, and it's by Donald Hall, and the pictures are by Barbara Cooney. And you can see this is an ox, and that's the cart, like a cup of nugget. The Ox Cart Man. And you can tell by the pictures that this story takes place a long time ago. It looks old fashioned. In October, he backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they had made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from the garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son, and he walked at his ox's head ten days, over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. So now he's going to sell all of these things. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in and he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in and he sold his ox cart. He's selling everything. <clears throat> oh, then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on the nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he brought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. So this is a general store where they used to sell all kinds of different things. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams, until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. So he walked all the way back home with the things he purchased, he bought. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching and his son took his barlow knife and started whittling, and they cooked dinner in their new kettle, and afterward everyone ate a winter green peppermint candy, and that night the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. So now in the book it's winter, so the season changed. While his wife made flax into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter and his son carved brooms from birch all winter and everybody made candles. So they're working hard to make things. I wonder what they're gonna do with them. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down. 
and in April they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. We are now at spring in the book. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages while apple blossom bloomed and fell, while bees woke up, starting to make new honey. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. The end. So boys and girls, now they're going to take all those things and the man will go back and he'll sell them all over again the next fall.